Hey you guys, what's up? It's Jacob here again with nextgenerationacoustics.com. Coming at y'all with a really quick video. And this is a question that I get asked a lot and I was asked it again this week. And it's whenever I'm installing my acoustic panels or this even works for bass traps, what is the best height to install them at? And that largely depends on what you're doing within your room. If your room is like, 300 square feet, but you only have one panel that's one foot by four foot, it's not gonna make a difference whether you have it placed in the most exact perfect place in the room possible because the sound's gonna have so much reverberation and reflection that you're not going to be meeting the room's required amount of acoustic treatment to make an audible improvement. So the first thing is, are you meeting your room's coverage recommendations and your room's coverage requirements? And if you're meeting those, then you can think about, is my placement specifically perfect and optimized for what I'm doing in the space? Sound interacts with every square inch of a room. And if that wasn't the case, you'd be able to put your head into a corner and you wouldn't hear anything at all. But we all know that that's not the case. And at some point, sound will touch every surface. So technically, you could put uh, an acoustic panel anywhere and it will still absorb the sound. So with that said, what you're trying to do when it comes to panel placement or specifically panel height is put it at a height that would be most effective for the application that you're doing. Uh, speaker stands are, let's say, 36 inches off the ground. It would be really smart to start the panel maybe one or two feet off the ground and then have the panel go, you know, two, one, two, three feet above the speaker and have the speaker centered towards the panel so that way you know that as the sound projects from that speaker that it will definitely encounter the acoustic panel on its first reflection point or first order reflection. So then that's gonna how you're how you're gonna essentially maximize the effectiveness of your acoustic panels. If your sound source is human voice, which is typically a little bit higher, if it's a restaurant or a speaking room, or if it's a live music venue and you have a stage, you could actually get the panels up higher. Um, if there's an aesthetic purpose why you don't want them at a certain height, you could move them a little higher or move them a little lower with minimal differentiation in the final result of the room because the height isn't gonna be the most critical factor of what's making the uh, panels make an audible improvement or not in the room. That most important factor is your coverage percentage. Are you meeting the room's required covered percentage? If you have an eight foot wall and a four foot tall panel, typically uh, we'll put, let's say like one and a half feet from the top and uh, two and a half feet from the bottom and kind of split it maybe a little bit more on the upper third. If you have an acoustic panel or a wall that's eight or nine feet and you can have an acoustic panel that's eight feet, you know, that's really good in the case of like a, a room that's maybe a control room, a studio control room where lots of coverage is required to reach the result that you want in the room. Remember, the more frequencies that you're trying to balance in the room, the more coverage percentage that your room is going to need. And if it's more like something that you're just trying to attenuate human voice or just get rid of some rever reverberation, you'll need su substantially less coverage than a room that has those, uh, those different frequencies, low pitch frequencies like bass, bass drums, bass guitars. If you're trying to record, mix and master, those are all more critical listening and critical uh, live environments where you're going to need maybe thicker panels and more coverage. So once you've met the proper coverage percentage, then you can think about optimizing height. And basically that comes down to the aesthetics of what you want in your room and to the sound source that you have in your room so that you make sure that whatever height that you're putting your panels at is hopefully a best of both worlds combination between acoustics and aesthetics. So. I can't give you an exact perfect height for a one size fits all scenario because that's gonna be different for every single room. And if you still have questions about your room or where you should place your panel height or how many panels you need, or if you want some awesome custom made acoustic treatment by yours truly, feel free to fill out the room analysis form, link in the description below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you could even schedule a consultation where I will personally look at your room and help you design the perfect 
perfect layout or the ideal layout based on your budget and what you're doing in the room and make sure that you're getting the best sounding environment possible for you. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Y'all make sure to subscribe. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, peace. Bye.